We'll get, we'll get started this morning. There's a few people still finding their way here, but we're going to get rolling. I want to thank everybody for joining us for the celebration this morning and another year of successful education of our students in District 518. The year of change, regeneration, and growth in District 518, we have an exceptional academics, outstanding extracurriculars, arts, and have been able to build relationships and connections with our students. I just want to tell everybody this morning, thank you for all your efforts. I know some have had a huge load this year with extra students. Um, the teacher shortage isn't getting any shorter. The employee sh shortage isn't getting any better. So that will be a continued item we have to deal with as we move forward. So please remember, we do have what I'll call recruiting incentives. So if you can find somebody, I'd love to pay out a bunch of that to you folks if you can recruit somebody. With that, I want to introduce the school board members that were able to attend. Um, we have the chair, Joel Renz. Uh, treasurer, Lori Dudley. And clerk, Steve Schneider, and I'm going to invite him up to say a few words. Good morning, and thank you all for being here this morning. I appreciate everybody getting up a little bit early in some cases. I hopefully you enjoyed the breakfast and hopefully you're enjoying your last few days of work this year, at least for the regular school year. I know some of you will be busy this summer helping out with programs during the summertime, so thank you for that also. It's been a very special year for all of us, challenging in some ways, but also uh, very rewarding. Uh, from a school board perspective, uh, we've accomplished uh, most of or almost all of our long-term goals that we've been working on since I got on the board 25 years ago and that is we had Prairie Elementary built and then we went on to finish the uh, additions on the high school, several of those. We worked on our, uh, our learning center, gymnastics facility, improved our athletics fields, and we've completed now the uh, intermediate school and wrapped it up with our community ed, uh, which I don't want to say last, uh, uh, last one we had to do, but not the least program that we have. Uh, so it's been very rewarding and stuff to get to this point from a school board perspective and our investment in education and giving you facilities to work in, facilities to, to work with our students and so they can enjoy their times here at the schools. So thank you very much for a great year. We appreciate all you do. We look forward to having most of you back. We know some of you are going on to other opportunities. Some of you are going on to retirement. And we just want to say thank you very much for all you've done. Thanks. So I just want to cover a few thank yous, and hopefully I don't forget anybody. Um, first, the school board for your commitment, hard work, and having a vision for moving the district forward. Um, we've made a number of changes, whether instructional changes, facility changes, um, just a number of things, and they've, they've been great in supporting the direction of the district. Thank you to the administrative staff. They've had a great deal of work, had to be flexible and adaptable to work with students, staff, and family. And we just need to say thank you to them. And I can't forget, thank you to Lisa for all this setup. She does all the work setting this up. So thank you, Lisa. Thank you to the food service folks for breakfast this morning, the technology team, <laughs> custodial staff who keep all our buildings functioning and working well and clean, <laughs> the 
I do have to say a special thanks to our custodial staff because they've moved people constantly for the last year with the opening of the buildings. Um, there's been a lot of extra work, so they've been outstanding and pretty much j jumped at the occasion to help us out. So those folks that have done the moving, and thank you. So with that, also, I got to remember, because if I don't, Herminio will give me a hard time. Thanks to the translators for their work. <laughs> Thank you to the parents who work with our students every day and some of the most difficult students. Their work is not easy, so thank you. And I want to say thanks to all the teaching staff for your efforts this year. Again, it's been a great year, but it's also been some challenges, so thank you. So if I thought, forgot any group, here's a thank you to the rest of you folks, the folks that work in the office or uh, have another employment capacity here. We really appreciate your efforts. It does take a whole team to meet the needs of our students. So, thank you. So, just to cover a few things that have probably changed or what's gone on, the good things. Um, this year, many of you maybe don't realize Studio 3, Cable 3, however you reference it. The district now is doing the supervision and operation of that. Um, we had three musicians that were named to the All-State Honor and Orchestra. We opened the Intermediate School. We had Kurt Slater and Joe Beckman here to help support us and support our students. Uh, the marching band went to Texas. The boys' soccer team qualified for state. We had a couple cross-country runners that went to the state meet. We have two new board members. Gymnastics qualified for the ninth year in a row for the state true team. State and true team, I believe. I better get it right. Also, we, ha we held state true team in our gymnastics facility. Great opportunity if you didn't have the opportunity to get there. You will this next year, because I believe we're hosting it next year as well. Um, a new community education building. This is the time you do the dance, Sharon. <laughs> Two students that qualified for state speech. Um, we had a student qualify for state BPA. We have a new district administrative building. We will be doing an open house in June. So I know not everybody's had the opportunity to be over there. Um, we had Brule um, do a performance for all our students. Oh yes, Prairie. We had two innovative spaces created in Prairie. You might have saw some articles on that. Discovery Room and Boost Up Room. Um, Prairie Elementary and the Intermediate School raised funds for a cancer event. It's a little over $7,200, which went to the Children's Miracle Network. Uh, Science Fair returned to the Intermediate School. And then of course, at the inter, uh, middle school, they did the whole from the middle and good news call, so there were a lot of things. And I could probably keep going and going and going. We forget about looking at all the positives that happen each and every day in our school. And sometimes, we need to set, spend a little time remembering and celebrating rather than focusing on what hasn't gone well. So I just need to keep that going. I do want to talk about the Grow Your Own. 
We've now been in that program for about 17 years, or excuse me, seven years. I better back up. Um, with that, we had 17 students do like an athletic signing, but only education prep. Outstanding opportunity. A lot of you folks showed up. Very much appreciate you promoting the profession. We have to talk positively about being educators if we're going to get people in the teacher, para, and all other roles. Again, we can't focus on the little things or the barriers that keep happening. We, talk, we need to talk about the positives. Also, first time in my time here, 231 graduates last Friday night. We also had 32 graduates at the Learning Center. So at this point, what's next? Where are we headed? We have some staff moving to new roles, new classrooms, new adventures. I'm envious of those who are retiring, because I'm not quite there yet, just to answer that question. Um, we'll also have some new faces in the administrative team. We'll have all-day four-year-old preschool for next year. So with that, I'm going to encourage you, find time to relax and enjoy the summer, rejuvenate, because next year we're going to be off to the races again, and you need the time to rejuvenate and find that fun activity. Spend time with family, friends, your children, grandchildren for some of you. I can tell you being a grandparent, it's always a good day. Partly because I can send them home when I'm done. So I look forward to the new year coming. It's always at the end of the year, exciting time. Um, just from the sta standpoint, it's been a long year. And of course, this year, I don't know, winter never ended. So I don't know if anybody else feels like that, but that was the longest winter ever. So I'm excited for the planning for next year, um, where we're headed and what we've got going. And we will be doing a school board workshop here in June to talk about directional things and how to deal with some of the legislative items that have been uh, put into law. So with that, at this point, we're going to get started with the awards presentations. And I got to make sure I follow the order here. I believe the first one is Heidi Meyer. Good morning. It's an honor to recognize the following Prairie employees. For 10 years of service, starting out is Laura Varley. Next, we have Sarah Steffel. Next, we have Lori Bristow. Darcy Murphy. Rhonda Langland. and Sarah Oldry.
Congratulations on 10 years of service to this group. Next, for 15 years of service, Susan Pass. <laughs> Tasha Ramo. <laughs> and Holly Fink. For 20 years of service at Prairie Elementary, Julie Ebers, Sarah Vandenbosch, Patricia Ambrosi, and Sherry Dorsey. Congratulations. For 25 years of service at Prairie Elementary, Tammy Altman. In 30 years, Joan Phillips. And Ann Rogers. One more round of applause for that crew. <laughs> Mr. Van Briesen, you're up next. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for being here this morning. Um, I have Mr. Luke helping me out. We were able to coax him out of retirement this past year. I think he, uh, he missed this day so much, so he wanted to join us again, so. Oh. No, we're good. He doesn't get the mic. All right, at the intermediate school, uh, we're first going to begin with recognizing our uh, tenure employees, Leslie Burnham. Leah Payne. <laughs> Dwayne Shook. <laughs> Megan Kingery. <laughs> and Lon Eichenberger. Congratulations on your 10 years of service.
Moving on to 15 years, uh, Stephanie Fletcher. <laughs> Pam Westendorf. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, ladies. <laughs> 20 years of service, Kim Anderson. <laughs> 25 years, Lynette Caldwell. And last but not least, for 30 years of service in the district, Chris Brower. Please give these folks one more round of applause. <laughs> Miss Bartman, you're next. Good morning, everyone. We are going to start with the 10 years for our middle school. Erin Makala. And Sarah Nickel. Congratulations. Fifteen years. Harold Wietzma. Liesel Butson. Congratulations. You're welcome. Carla Thuringer. Jessica Hogan. And my right hand gal, Sheila Grimius. Congratulations. Congratulations, Jessica. Thank you, ladies. 20 years, Paula Ahrens. David Blanchard. <laughs> He's singing on his way up, I think. Yes, singing. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thanks, David. <laughs> 
25 years, Linda Schaefer. And Alice Wietzma. Thirty years, Cynthia Roskamp. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you for your time. And thirty five years, Pam Bruce. Another round of applause, please. <laughs> Mr. Hastings. Mr. Lankard said to start off with a joke. Uh, Mr. Luke and I used to be short and sweet. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm still short and I got even taller over here, so. All right, enough jokes. Um, 10 years of service at the high school. Uh, Lori White. <laughs> Dwayne Hansen. The person that stole my script from the podium on Friday evening, Leanne Bardusen. <laughs> Sharon Deutscher. <laughs> and Andy Braun. Thank you. Fifteen years of service, Brad Grimius. Brad's currently in the weight room monitoring that. Um, Twenty years of service, Jane Johnson. Twenty-five years of service, Penny Tro. <laughs> also twenty-five years of service, Mr. John Kohler. Thirty years of service, Jody Hansen. <clears throat> Brad.
Bonnie Bentz. And I know he's not on the program, but I want to recognize Mr. Paul Olson as well. Next up, Mr. Josh Noble. Good morning, everyone. She's already making her way up with 25 years of service, Amy Benson. Next up, we have Allison Etram. Good morning. In special programs for 10 years of service, we have Roger Lace. Oh, he's out driving. He's on his way to Wyndham. Uh, and Connie Beck. All right, um, she's probably doing some finishing up reports. Uh, let's see, next up is Sharon Johnson with Community Ed. At Community Education for 10 years of service, Stacy Everding. I think I'm going to strike out too. For 20 years of service, Pilar Hartshorn. And I'll be turning it over to Mr. Noble and Mr. Landgard. I'm going to take the mic because he gets to be introduced. So, uh, with 10 years of service, Deanne Crawl. Corey Van Briesen. And Josh Dale. Did you at least shower after basketball this morning? Give up the camera, Ann. Are we ready? With 15 years, Ann Foley. With 20 years of service, John Langard. Congrats. With 30 years of service, Pat Morphew.
with 35 years of service, Amy Ernst. And next up, we have the presenter of Teacher of the Year, Patrick Mahoney. Thank you. All right, uh, every year, the ISD 518 staff get together and nominate and then vote for their Teacher of the Year. Uh, this year, a spry young teacher caught the eye this hot prospect in the middle school caught the eye of Scott Burns, and uh, here's what he had to say in his nomination. Mr. Myram is passionate about the subjects he teaches, whether it's global studies or American history. A generation of students, including my own children, have benefited from his knowledge and experience. His reverence for his students is even greater than his passion for the subjects. I don't think anyone at the middle school does a finer job of helping students learn and grow from their mistakes that they make. And in middle school, they make a lot. <laughs> Paraphrasing. Uh, Mr. Myram also uses his own experience to, uh, as a parent to help parents of, his, of uh, his students and navigate the challenges of raising teens who struggle with academics. He's also served as our, dis our district through coaching students in cross country. These are just a few of the reasons why Mr. Myram is a worthy candidate for Teacher of the Year. Well said, Scott. Uh, and I can, I can second all of that. I was able to work in the, in the middle school for a couple of years and even para in his room. Uh, Lonnie has, he's a storyteller and he, he has a gift of, of bringing the subject to life, of taking names and dates and turning them to stories. Uh, we have the double honor today to graduate and celebrate the beginning of the next chapter in Lonnie's story. Uh, like Michael Jordan in 98, Lonnie's going out on top. Uh, we'd like to thank you for, for all that you've done. Um, you've inspired and helped so many. And remember that Michael Jordan and Jeff Luke have come out of retirement. So, just think about it. Uh, uh, please join me in congratulating the 2023 Teacher of the Year, Lonnie Myram. All right, we're to the point here where we're at the retirees, and I have Mr. Mahoney, who's always full of energy. <laughs> and quite honestly, I wish he'd share a little of it, especially after this last weekend. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I got the lack of sleep from last weekend here. So. First one, 40 years of service to District 518, Trudy Henry. Thank you, Trudy. You gotta stay up here now. 35 years, Diana Stanford. Five years, Renee Heatbrink. Uh, 28 years, Bruce Boning.
seven years, Richard Furstenberg. Thirty-four years, Lonnie Myram. Lonnie. That's the way to go out. Yeah. <laughs> That's the way to do it. Congrats. Twenty-five years, John Kohler. Thirty five years, Pam Bruce. Thank you, Pam. I do have to tell you a little bit of a story about Pam. I gotta pick on her a little bit. Her and I had, were talking the other day about the history and all the things that her and I have been tied together with in the school district. Some of the stories were rather interesting. We had a fun time reminiscing. Um, Mike Anderson, 21 years. Thirty-four years, Gail Holinka. Thirty years, Chris Brower. Twenty seven years, Tara Thompson. Twelve years, Lorna Kruger. Twelve years, Vicki Selberg. So, one will get a picture in a second, okay? So, nobody run away. Um, Mr. Marquardt, I always ask you, did you do the math? 345. Wow. I got to count on the fire guys got to stick together, right? So, it's wonderful these people have the opportunity to do some reflection and where they're headed and you guys all, I wish you well in retirement. But remember, you can come back and help us out. <laughs> we take the help. So I just really want to say thank you for your commitment to District 518 and all the hard work that you've done over the years. 
With that, I want to also thank again all of you. Um, one thing I, I do want to share at least a little bit. In my household growing up, pats on the back and thank yous and things like that were not the norm, particularly for what you did. You had to do something exceptional. That's that old Scandinavian background I have. So oftentimes I forget to say thank you to all of you on a regular basis. So with that, I am really trying to make sure I improve, particularly as I get close to the end. Sometimes old dogs have to learn new tricks. Um, but I really appreciate all the hard work this year. And with that, let's celebrate one more time these folks.